speaking i want to share a dream that i had last night so in this dream um, there was a a person a very important person that was uh, going to this place it was visiting it looked like he was visiting a house and uh, he made his way to the house and he was at the door and he kept knocking knocking but there were people in the house and they weren't opening the door and the reason why they weren't opening the door was because their house was in a mess and they didn't want this person who was an important person to come and find the house in that state so what they did was they they kept telling him wait 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 we're coming we're coming just wait and they wanted to use that time to put things in order in the house and this person was just standing at the door and was just knocking and knocking and knocking and nobody was opening i think there is a bigger picture to this dream uh, i believe that person uh, the interpretation that i had that person was the lord that house that he was coming to was the earth and um, he wants to come he's ready to come but things are not in order uh, his children may not be in order things are not in order so what is happening right now is he's ready but we're not ready i want to share a scripture from uh, 1 thessalonians 5 verse 23 it says and the very god of peace sanctify you holy and i pray god your whole spirit your whole soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our lord jesus brothers and sisters whenever we talk about the coming of jesus it should reflect back on us and the reason why is because we should then examine ourselves are we fulfilling our responsibilities our duties because what we want to hear is my good and faithful servant we don't want to hear you wicked and lazy servant and the lord is he's giving everyone something to do no matter what state you are in your life there is something that god has committed to you and you are supposed to be faithful in it then is are we being faithful with the things what is the state of your life what is the state of your relationship with god what's the state of your your single life what's the state of your married life what is the state of your your children you know what's the state of your finances all of these things are important because the bible says there is nothing we have that we didn't receive from god and if we received everything from him then that means we're supposed to be good stewards of everything that we have in our hand and this is part of our, our duties as servants to the lord okay so your whole spirit soul and body be preserved blameless means when the lord comes he wants to come and find people who are blameless he wants his children to be blameless he says in Ephesians, he's coming for a church without spot nor blemish okay so we have work to do brothers and sisters and i'll go on and, and use the, the rest of the time left just to share on i was talking about these many different areas that make up our life as a whole and one of them is our relationship with god how is your relationship with god is it is it is it blameless in that sense but i'll share some things that can help us in this area our relationship with god is founded on three principles really three principles is relationship fellowship and obedience brothers and sisters if we're going to have a, a strong relationship with the lord these three things must be important to us now relationship is what happens when when we give our lives to christ and get born again we become children of god john 1 12 says we become children of god so we christ brings us into a relationship we begin to relate to god and that's all because of what jesus has done okay now fellowship is something that we do to maintain that relationship how do we do that john 17 verse 3 said this is eternal life that you may know the father and that word know there is talking about intimacy in fellowship that's what we do to maintain that relationship so we give him our mind Romans 12, be a living sacrifice. You first give me your mind. When God has your mind, he has your whole body. Okay? So give me your mind throughout the day. However, you give you give him your mind as but as through prayer, through meditation, uh, just with worship, whatever you do to give him your mind, remain in his presence. That's our fellowship with the Lord. We called for this very thing to remain in his presence. John 15, abide in me. Okay, and the, the last one is obedience. What flows out of our relationship and fellowship with God is going to be obedience. It's when we act on the word, and that's also very crucial. So that's the three principles. I'll talk about the others later. Be blessed.